water. Yeah, like waves. Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here back again with more Blind Gaming and a new LP for the channel. Hooray, this one's called 2000 Navitson Lane for the PC, of course. As usual, I will put a link down below in the description where you guys can check this out for yourselves if you're into indie horror. This is free to play, and I believe it's going to be the full version. There was a game jam recently where a bunch of games came out, so I do have a couple of them on the docket, and this was one of them. If you're new to the channel, I am blind. I've got no center vision at all, only my peripherals, so if I can do this... You most certainly can do it as well. Before we begin, let's go out to the game site real quick, see what the story's about, and I'll meet you guys back here. Sometimes, when things got tight and rent was coming up, you'd take odd jobs that paid in cash to make ends meet. This time, you responded to an ad made by someone who owned an investment home nearby. They hadn't visited it recently and wanted to have someone drop by to make sure everything was okay. Weather damage was their main concern. 40 bucks for maybe an hour's worth of work sounded pretty good. All you needed to do was drive over there, record some video of the house, check the rooms, and send the video when you got home. A thunderstorm beat you there by only a few minutes time. You hurried up to the front porch and dug around one of the flower pots for the spare key you were told should be there. Bingo. You let yourself in the front door and immediately something didn't feel right. This house is supposed to have been vacant for months. Why was the TV on? Why were there dishes in the sink? Was someone there? You step further inside. Despite your concerns, you'd be quick. And if anyone was there, you would just leave. All right, we're, so I guess we're a rent-a-home inspector without a home inspecting license. And we're going to go into a spooky house. I wonder who's in there. I'm sure it's some ghoul or demon. Well, let's bring in the main host himself, the devil. I'm sure he's got some stuff to say about this. Hello, hello. 2000 Navits in Lane. What did happen here? We're going to find out together. Oh, I'm sure it's a real spooky horror game experience, Balamore. Well, I hope so. There better be a demon. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you your thoughts on. We're here to... Well, the story is we try to make some money on the side just to help pay rent. And uh, things are tight, as usual. You know what's going on in the world anyways. Everything's tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You humans and your financial issues okay anyways regardless we go to the house which is supposed to be vacant and uh it's not apparently we don't know what what's going on but what do you think's inside well knowing the kind of games you play probably a demon my money is on a demon one of those fake ass demons <laughs> a fake ass demon yeah they're not real demons real demons would mess you up bro don't say bro to me oh no, 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 i'm sorry the kids use that word haven't they you know changed it from bro to like brah and bra and then bruh. they don't even it's barely even the b yeah kids are weird nowadays i feel really old picking on children <laughs> you're a young spring chicken balamore i am ancient and I feel young, so you're not old at all, buddy. Oh, well, thank you. But in human years, you're getting there. You could kick it at any moment, Balamore, and I'll be waiting in the darkness. I bet you will. I'll be flipping you off on my way to heaven. How dare you? You wouldn't even do that. Yeah, I would. I'd be shaking my head slowly while I squinted at you. Ah, uh, you got some jokes, Balamore. Well, I got the pitchfork being sharped every day. I have the boys sharpening it for me constantly, so it's extra, extra, extra sharp for my favorite little Christian boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's going to happen, though. When you kick it, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I'm waiting, you're going to rise into the air, and you're going to be sitting there going, oh, I, geez, fiddlesticks, I don't know what happened. And I'm going to be like, yeah, you're going to hell with me right now. And then I'm going to stab you in the face with that pitchfork. And it'll go in just like butter because I've been sharpening it every day for you. Oh, don't forget it's tipped in acid. You're real sick. Oh, the, the best part is the points. They have those big old triangles on them just like your uh, picture depictions of the devil holding the pitchfork, you know, with the triangle points. So when it goes through, you can't just pull it out <laughs> without a lot of damage. 
I wouldn't want to tick you off. You you really think this stuff through. I am the devil. I am God. Of course I'm going to think everything through. That's what being perfect is, Balamore. The prime specimen of all humanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go and do this uh, Navitz and Lane home. See what's up. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I, I got to get my, uh, my seat here. Got my spooky popcorn with me. Let me uh, put a little extra innocent Christian blood on there. <laughs> You're real sick. All right, guys. Well, without further ado, let's do this. at this oh i remember playtesting this i always start the games up make sure they run all right this looked cool i was like oh i can't wait to play this it's very bright let's see can we zoom no jumping no it's just a walking sim I'll look up a little bit there it's so bright in the center well i don't have center vision but damn that is bright. Oh, we got upstairs too. I have it very, very loud. Feels like a thunderstorm's going on outside, that's for sure. So, how you guys been? I hope you're playing something real spooky. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I got some biblical scripture. I wonder what they did because you would think this house will be protected. It's almost like a priest's home, right? You got the big old, or maybe a, a very devout Catholic. Somebody was a bad boy. They got demons in here. All right, we're looking for water damage. That's what they're worried about. The ceiling looks pretty good. You got bread out. Yeah, that... I wish there was a way to... Turn the flashlight off. Actually, it'd probably be pitch black. That goes into the main house. Oh, got a little storage room. Nice. It would be cool, though, to go to people's houses every now and then. They give you 40 bucks for a quick uh, video. That's why we got the VHS effect, because we're taking a video recording. Probably not good to leave those on. Yeah, the lights are on, the TV's on. That's very creepy. Can't turn it off there. I don't see a uh, remote anywhere. It's not a bad little house, though. I remember those old TVs. I was never fancy and had big old sound system. But I remember the TVs in those fancy uh, wooden TV holders. They did look nice as furniture, though. And we got a... Uh, maintenance closet or whatever you want to call it did i miss any other doors how the the thunder is fantastic let's go back out this way we must be a heavy set gentleman because i hear our footsteps are like thunder a lot of these space heaters yeah, I think if the game dev ever does update this, dim down the light a little bit. It is very, very bright. Now, my my blindness actually affects how light is uh, goes in and out of my eyes. So maybe it's just me, but I feel like it's not. It's just really bright. But I can forgive it how well this runs. 
got a bath drawn. Yeah, somebody's living it up in here. I remember these style chairs. Look at that record player. God, look at the wallpaper. So far, there's no water damage or anything. I gotta get my roof. Oh, this would stink though. Oh, actually, it's maybe it's just mirrors on the sheetrock. I have to get my roof fixed because mine's always got little teeny leaks. Got some gambling. Wow. All right, let's check the other side. I saw that door back there. I think we got to go in. Cross is everywhere. Yeah, I got a, a glass there. Somebody's been living here. I'd be so mad. Somebody's just chilling in your house while you're not there. I'd be bringing the double barrel in with me. Uh, it's just another scripture that I can, can't really read without blowing my retinas out. I think we're stuck now. Hmm. This is like a back room, isn't it? I've never played any of the back room games. I never really got on the hype train, but this does look like the back rooms. I got a light over there, but that could be misleading. more light back. I doubt we can go this way. Yeah. This is spooky though. Not like something was dragging. Like, was it a wall? Sound like metal on metal, but I'm assuming it's, it's this way. I think one of the backroom games, there was a monster that came after you. I hear water. Yeah, like waves. Wow, what was that? It was like a, a, a static man. I can't get in there. We got a static man, huh? Oh, I just saw another bloop of static. It could be the VHS filter, but I don't think so. I think I keep seeing like a, a quick. Oh no, I saw the light there. That was tricking me because now I'm looking for static men. And there's no running, by the way. It is literal walking, which I don't mind walking sims, especially in horror games. I played a few. Dear Esther, that was in a uh, horror game. I thought there was going to be an, an element of horror in it, but there wasn't. Well, there's your water problem. Okay, it's just a, it's not the house anymore. We're definitely in another realm. Okay, it's as far out as we can go. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, the galaxy. Or one, one of the galaxies. I forget, I'm not uh, big in astrology, but 
There's multiple galaxies I know, and um, oh, it's interesting. That light's on. Those aren't. But there's like, I don't not infinite. I'm sure there's a number of them, but there's a set number of galaxies, and then there's universes. You know, there's so many galaxies within the universe, and then there's a bazillion universes. It's pretty crazy um, when you look at space. Okay, is this all kind of nothing? All right, let's go upstairs. Apparently, that's where we're supposed to be. We're in an attic with a random TV. Hello there. Are you going to have a demon come out of you? Do we just, let's give it a second. Oh God. Yeah, I think it's walls moving. It was over in that direction. So something changed. That was creepy. I like how the light... Um, it was a good touch with TV just kind of click. And so far, this all looks the same. Now, I don't like it came from this way. Like outside. Oh, that's new. Oh, that looks all the same. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll assume these doors... Are, I'll check one more. Yeah, I think they're all going to be bricked over. It's weird that uh, ambient noise just kind of droning in the background... not controlling this so I must just be looking like endless why would I climb out oh boy Hello. Okay, and this is a note about the incident. So it is a staged thing. They're trying to seal something up. So I don't know if I'm the same person. Oh, I must be. Oh, I see. So that note was talking about how uh, me, I dropped the uh, camcorder out the window. So that's why there's no VHS effect right now. I dropped it right out the freaking window. What's up with my screen? You guys see the aspect ratio? Hmm, what way do I go? Oh, 
Oh, it's shrinking. I wonder if, uh, if I'm dying. No, it stopped shrinking. That is, what is that screen ratio? <laughs> it seems very, very, very tiny. Well, this is kind of cool, though. I wonder what's going to happen now. Who are we sealing up? Must be a demon, I bet. I could have read that wrong. I'll have to read it again in editing. I hope you're not claustrophobic. This is getting very, very, very skinny. Wonder what's gonna happen. Hello, demon. I can't move. Okay guys, so that was 2000 Abbots in Lane and the link for this game, don't forget down below in the description, you can check it out for yourselves. So I think the reason it was stopping and fast forwarding there when it was falling, now that I realize it wasn't me, it was a video camera. Um, they must have found that and we're going through the footage, but they never knew what happened to me and they were upset about it. I don't know what, the, what they were trying to seal, if it was that monster, which was actually pretty cool. Very spooky looking monster or demon, whatever it was that got me. But yeah, they're going to keep sending other people in under some sort of ruse. So I really enjoyed this little game. I thought it was cool. What did you think of this, Satan? The spooky demon got you in the end. That's all that matters to me, watching my buddy Balamore get eaten away. <laughs> I bet it does. Pleases you very much, doesn't it? No, if I heard your bones crunching and you gasping for air while your blood gurgled in your throat, that would have been better. But I'll, I'll take a W when I can. Yeah, very graphic. Oh, that's just light, Balamore. That's just a warm summer breeze compared to the nightmare I can think of. Would you care to hear... No, I, I got the gist of it. Good, good, good. Because when you kick it and I take you to hell, oh, ho, 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 I've got some things to show you. I bet you do. So, you like the game. Yes, I, I like the game. But we'll see what the review reveals. Because even if I liked it, I could still give it a low review score. All right. Well, hey, why don't we find out together? Okay, okay, the, the part of the LP where Satan himself does the review. Don't forget, on a scale of 1 to 10, if you get a 4.0 or below, your game is trash. It never should have been made. You, everyone involved, all of your delicious souls, and your game, of course, go right to hell for all eternity. If you get above a 4.0, congratulations, you get to live for a time. They never really get to live, Balamore. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's find out together. Okay, don't worry about the pressure. No pressure here. 2,000 Navits in Lane. I give it a review score of... 5.5. That is a 5.5 out of 10, Balamore. Is that a fair score? It was a short little teeny weeny game. Yeah, it's pretty fair. Optimization was beautiful, it was spooky, it was kind of intriguing, but uh, it was super, super short. It, I saw you replay this game. Yeah, I actually, I don't think I mentioned it. I played this game again because there was that door on the left I wanted to see, but it was just an empty room. When you knew what to do, you beat this game and was it even two minutes? Well, that doesn't matter. I'm just saying, it was uh, very, very short. So my review score is final. I would recommend. Okay, so just because the score is 5.5 doesn't mean it's bad. In this case, no. It was, uh, it ran very good, and that's really what matters. If the game runs real well, it can be extra garbage, and we'll still enjoy ourselves. That's very, very true. And I enjoyed myself, and I didn't think it was garbage. I thought it was a cool little game. All right, well, that's his uh, review score, and I agree. I would have given it a six, but that's just me. Don't you condescend to me, boy. I am Alpha, the beginning and end. My say goes, boy. I'm just saying. You'll say nothing. All right, you eat your popcorn. We're going to play another LP. Will that make you happy? 
Yeah, don't make me happy. Are you going to die in this one too? You know I'll try. Okay, all right. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the gameplay. That was a really cool little game. And maybe there's another ending I didn't know about, but uh, feel free to try it for yourselves. Until next time, as always, later.